This is coming from IB Times. Um, Biden steps back on student loan debt forgiveness, leading to major criticism. Hmm. Hmm. Joe Biden is facing some pushback, albeit probably very friendly pushback, <laughs> yeah. following reports that his new budget won't include the student loan debt forgiveness he built part of his campaign for the presidency on. Imagine that. You don't say. Folks. Pledges Biden made during his campaign, which including which included health care reforms, raising the estate tax, and forgiving significant amounts of student debt, are all expected to be left out of his upcoming budget plan, the Washington Post reported Friday. Why? Because we can't afford any of it. The news comes one day after an interview with Biden by New York Times opinion writer David Brooks was published where he seemed to be further at odds with the progressive wing of his party when it came to the idea of student debt forgiveness. In the interview, Biden admitted he didn't agree with the more progressive plan where people like Senators Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer have urged him to forgive up to 50000 in debt from all borrowers, stating that he didn't think the public should pay for those who willingly pursued more expensive educations. Wait, what was quote, that? <laughs> quote from Biden himself. The idea, man, that you go to Penn <laughs> and you're paying a total of 70000 bucks a year and the public should pay for that, I don't agree. Come on, man. <laughs> I added that part in there. <laughs> look, look, the fact of the matter is the idea that you can go to Penn and you're paying a total of 70000 bucks a year and the public should pay for that, I don't agree. I what? Uh, I agree with him. Yeah. How wow. about that? How it's, about that? It shouldn't pay for any of it. Yeah. <laughs> None of it. He's it's signing the line. He doesn't think the public should pay for those who willingly pursue more expensive educations. Man. Now, the reason I had to put this in here was I, I dug up the last time I tweeted about this, which was the beginning of December. And you guys have heard us talk about this a lot. But on December 4th, I tweeted that they're not going to forgive the student debt. They can't do it. Forgiving the student debt would solve a problem that a lot of people have, which is that they have student debt. And politicians and the government is not in the business. They are not in the business of solving problems that people have. They're in the business of selling you on the fact that they're going to solve the problem that you have. They can't actually take care of it because then you have no use for them after that. So what they have to do is they have to defer the student debt. And then they have to defer it. And then each bill is going to talk about how they're going to defer the student debt for another six months or another nine months or something like that. They might as well come out with a bill right now that says that they're going to defer the student debt until 2022, until November of 2022, they're going to defer the student debt. And then what's that going to do? It's going to make campaigns all over the country about whether or not you support keeping the student debt deferred with no interest, or if you're going to make these poor students pay for their colleges that they can't afford. And it's going to be an election piece for a long time. There is absolutely no incentive for them to actually do it. They have to hold it off so they can hold it over your head mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that, that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to see folks. Add another, add another check mark to your right column. Yeah. That's, I'm going to have to add some more columns in here. You need, yeah. You need <laughs> some a lot more, more rows. You need a lot more columns. <laughs> this is Good, Good Morning Liberty.